Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to all of the brand new map changes inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. We've got so many map changes all over the map and lots of easter eggs and references to different characters through the Marvel Universe. First off, we're going to start off at Doctor Doom's main spawn. This is going to be where he has actually harnessed the power of Pandora's box. Doctor Doom's castle or Castle Doom is where Doctor Doom is based and there are so many Marvel easter eggs. First off, let's go over all them and show you guys what we have on this wall here. with an axe on a dartboard with Mr. Mr. Fantastic on. So that's pretty cool. And we also have a bed, potentially being Doom's actual bedroom here. Can't confirm if it is or not, but let's explore further around the castle and go over some other Easter eggs as we do go further around. So this castle is absolutely huge. It also has lots of different routes and different loot paths you can go around. And even in the main quarters as well, we do find that Doom has a throne room in here. And that's through this door here. This is where the boss will spawn. We talked about this on the second channel. It's a really lovely POI. So many cool things in here. And as we do go inside of here, we can see this is the main throne room of Doctor Doom. It's absolutely lovely. The lighting in here is amazing and it's just a lovely POI to check out and definitely worth visiting. I'm sure you guys will. You'd be silly not to visit this place. But yeah, lots of cool pictures and little Easter eggs as we do go around in these sections. And even the throne itself is the thing as well from uh, Fantastic Four, which is just so funny. Like, look at that. How has he turned that into a throne? I do not know. Only Doctor Doom would do that. So yeah, lots of cool little things and the upper sections also have lots of cool areas as well Which will explore some of the easter eggs in a second Let's take a look in the main tower though where we are right now Which is the taller part of the POI This is kind of like the highest you can get inside of the POI if you follow the main tower up All of these have really nice interiors and they're very big And it's kind of worth pointing out here that this just goes all the way to the top And you can really get up really high up here And I'm guessing this is where Doom maybe cast his spells and magic It's really cool and honestly I love what they've done with this. It's so tall as well. Like this is the tallest point on the castle. So definitely worth getting up there. It's a good advantage point as well to snipe players. Now there is kind of like a museum collection area as well inside of here. Where Doom's kind of stored different artifacts from different Avengers all around. And that's in kind of this section which is the library style vibe. And also the main hall as well has all the mini Easter eggs. I may as well show you them now. This one's in the main hall section. This is going to be a Moon Knight reference. I absolutely love this one really cool to see if we follow it round a little bit and head back to where we were before in the library style building we also get this fantastic four reference which i think is a reference to mr fantastic which is nice and then if we go upstairs a little bit as well and follow the stairs up to the top this is going to be thanos's helmet which has been absolutely smashed up and is in this museum which is so cool to see again these references are amazing there's also this reference over here as well to ultron this is again ultron's head completely powered down inside of a museum cave which is really strange to see but cool as well so thanks Fortnite for adding this easter egg and if we keep following through there are a few more of these there's quite a few by the way of these little easter eggs the next one we've got is Doctor Strange this is what he uses he's like little amulet for the time stone to be stored in which is just amazing so that's nice to see. That was from the movies as well. Then we also get the actual chair here, which says Sue on, which is Sue Storm's chair. Very random, but we do get it, so worth mentioning. There's also this little fire heart thing in the fire. I don't know what the reference to this is, but I think I kind of know, but I can't. I can't put a finger on it, but let me know in the comments what reference that is. I feel like it has to be a Marvel reference. Then there's this over here as well, which is Magneto's helmet in this casing. And then on the opposite side, this is back in the library, we have Silver Surfers. These are like the main two that you'll see in the library. The others are a little bit more hidden around. So there you have all of the Easter egg references on that side. Kind of neat to have. I also want to mention Doomed is inside of 50 Fashion now. I've decided to build a theme that's themed or inspired by Doom himself. So the green vibe, the kind of Doom feel is inside of 50 fashion go and check it out here's a little picture of the stage i spent absolute hours working on this last night so it would mean the world to me if you guys can pop in the map go and give it a go let me know what you guys think if you haven't played it recently it's really good for xp as well and if you're looking at a really good way at leveling up quickly as well my toy box has been enhanced the xp inside the toy box now has been upgraded for eliminations i've changed it i'll talk more about this in an xp video but go and give it a go for now see what you think i was getting between three and nine thousand per elimination so give it a go all the new weapons are in here as well definitely an enhancement and a quick way of getting in that five a day levels in creative so if you want to pop into toy box or 50 fashion you can use the codes on screen or search the word 50 fashion or search the word toy and they'll pop up feel free guys i recommend it I've tried my best to optimize the xp the best possible way for you guys so let me know in the comments what you guys think we'll talk more about it in the xp video like i said but i just thought i'd let you guys know that i've updated them now if we move further around outside the poi we do get the main tower here and this looks like where potentially 
I guess he's harnessed the power of Pandora's box. I feel like this is it. I might be wrong, I'm not too sure exactly, but this definitely feels like some sort of magical place where Doom goes to to craft different weaponry. It feels like a mixture of the Nitro, Pandora's box, and everything into this, and it looks like some sort of crazy energy. It's definitely more of like a forge, but kind of makes me feel like where's he getting this stuff from is it from pandora's box i don't know he's crafted it from somewhere anyway let's move on to our next little poi which is going to be coming in with our next one which is going to be doom's courtyard this is a lot smaller and there's a lots of different posters talking about how doom is the new leader and stuff and everything's green i love the color theme for doom by the way green is just amazing everything's green really so you got a statue of doom obviously over here outside of the castle this is one of the main sections inside of here and just overall this poi is more chill more laid back compared to the castle not as much going on more relaxing it feels like more of like an inn you would come here and maybe stay or have a meeting or something that's the sort of vibe i get here in this sort of section it's like a meeting slash in hotel room style thing where maybe someone lives or people come and visit so just a really nice little section of a house and definitely worth looting up if you're around here it's a lot smaller than the castle though so you'll be able to learn your way around a little easier i feel like that castle is so big but i guess it's split into three segments so it's kind of easy to understand where you are in the castle so yeah that's basically the end of the tour of this section of doom's courtyard let's move on to the next one some of the minor little changes are these little towers around the map there's a few of them doom situated them all over the place and we even have a new train station as well which is now over on the map which is doom themed which has been changed so lovely two little changes there next up we're going to be going over to doomstadt i think that's how you pronounce it it's a german word stad for city i think it means i don't know how 100 percent you pronounce it but here we are in dooms village and it is absolutely awesome it's more of like a productive feels like very kind of like lots of life around here not as quiet as other places it feels like there's going to be a lot of action here with a big population because all the buildings seem fairly busy and quite well laid out and stuff going on in the street it feels like it's definitely a residential place now if you follow me into this house here this is probably the biggest secret in doomstack which i absolutely love is this iron man little hat on this house basically whoever lives in this house is a huge iron man fan or a tony stark fan if you come in here and go through the bookcase or just through the floor here in the replay mode is what we're going to do and if you go underground it's like they've got this like doctor doom statue which they're worshiping and nope if you go underground they're huge iron man fans there is absolutely ton of iron man merch down here from different hats different books different comics different posters there's even like a cardboard cutout and not only that there's even a actual snooker table as well it's iron man themed a little kind of glow lamp as well just so much here lava lamp should i say and just cutouts posters even a uni being on the tv you can see even someone trying to create the original iron man armor just so many cool things the carpets as well and the rugs even the mats that you put your drinks on the drink mats more cardboard cutouts more posters more legs and cardboard pieces of iron man literally the wallpaper is iron man themed as well so whoever lives down here is absolutely in love with tony stark and iron man definitely worth checking out if you're over at doom's village by the way guys this is the in my opinion my favorite thing i've found this season so far for map changes it's absolutely amazing and probably the best map change we've had in a very very long time and it's secret as well like you don't really know it's there unless you break that bookcase so yeah kind of like that also there's like a news place where doom is actually watching everyone or whoever's monitoring this is watching everyone on the island and they're basically telling you not to litter it's kind of cool but kind of weird i was kind of laughing at this i just think it's so strange like no littering at all allowed and they're just watching everyone on the island here literally making sure all the citizens are behaving or the citizens are going to get eliminated so it's kind of a funny one and i laugh at it every time so let's move over to the location of the rat so the raft replaced pleasant if you've been living underneath some sort of rock that's what it replaced it's kind of a cool poi and one that i do love and i think it's a little bit different because it has also been broken off on the side so it feels a different style to all of doom's pois because it's a bit broken on one side which kind of makes it feel not 100 percent unique but a little bit like the original prison i guess so yeah it's kind of interesting it feels really unique in its main section but then when it breaks up on the outside it feels like the old prison so kind of like it it's a, it's a different vibe but anyway inside of here there are still prisoners and you will find one of the main kind of bosses emma frost is in here as well so she'll be monitoring the prison and inside of here we do have lots of different sections and different cells just really cool little section this is her main section where emma frost is based i don't know if she's a prisoner or if she's a guard can't really tell what she's doing but she just sits on that throne just chilling she has a really cool little uh, light above her head as well so 
generally, I feel like this has been kind of like overtaken, maybe. I don't know who, whose team she's on or who she is or anything. I don't really know much about this character. Pretty sure she's part of the X-Men. Anyway, where she's located, she has this room where this is the Meow's Tooth, which is going to be a new skin coming to the game. I'm assuming he'll be located around here as an NPC, or maybe this is where he's based and he'll be somewhere else in the prison away from the boss, obviously, because you don't want them fighting each other. But yeah, they will be located in there, and all these little cells is kind of like where he probably appeared from Meow's Tooth, and he has disappeared. He's gone for else, and no one knows where he is exactly, uh, but... Keep an eye out for him. He probably will appear somewhere on the island. It'll probably be some sort of storyline quest. Also, we do have this little one here you can't get into yet. This is Gwenpool's little cell, I guess. Is she living in there or is she locked in there? I'm not too sure exactly what's happening with the Marvel characters in the story just yet. Like, who's the good, who's the bad? Anyway, let's move on to the next point where the trains are now running around the map because all the railway stations have been cleared up by Doom and his henchmen team, which is kind of neat. We can expect that Doom isn't just focused on clearing the train line, but also has a mission around the island to do some other stuff. There are many sites around the map you will find where Doom has sent and scattered outposts all over the island for his henchmen to go to and dig up different artifacts to try and find stuff. Here's one at Grimgate where it looks like they've actually broke the building a little bit to try and start this kind of digging site. So yeah, kind of a little cool map change. This is just one of many. There's several of these all around the map. You'll find them and just they're pretty cool. Also, the Fantastic Four sign here is brand new as well which looks like it's been destroyed and galactus is also here in the water which i thought was super strange which is a reference i guess to when he got defeated it's only his helmet by lots of it or his head which looks broken off which is kind of funny so very random and over at the box as well pandora's box it still lies beneath the red line rig but unfortunately has no power left obviously dr doom has took all the energy away from it so definitely one it's pretty exciting but also scary if you enjoy these map changes over here we cover them every single week so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and consider using code post in your item shop i'll see you guys soon have a good one peace